What's up guys, it's Nick. I'm going to be showing you guys today how to get a free YouTube banner, Twitch banner, any kind of banner that you may need, Facebook, gaming, any kind of banner. Um, fast, fun, efficient, real simple, real straight to the point. If you want something like this or anything like that, uh, stay tuned. I'll show you how to do it in a couple of easy, quick steps. So, what you want to do first, if you want to get on your computer, you want to go to Google. I already have Google on here. We will do Canva. Canva is the site that you are looking for. Free design tools. We can do a lot of things on Canva. I'm going to probably do some more tutorials in the future. But for today, I'm going to do a YouTube banner because that's where I'm uploading my video. So we'll do a YouTube banner. If you don't see it right here on You Might Want to Try, you could also search. So we'll go YouTube banner. You go to templates and you'll see. See? They even have different kinds. So you go ahead and hit a YouTube banner. It gives you the size. You don't have to worry about any of that. Then you have dozens of templates to choose from. And these are more like a placeholder because every single one of these you can edit. So we'll go ahead and pick one that we like. Say, I don't know. Let's just go with something kind of simple like Tim Ashton. So it says Tim Ashton work, travel, and everything in between. Say you're a vlogger or whatever. And you want to change your picture, right? No. You already have your profile picture. Go ahead and upload it. Here, I'm just going to copy this one. Just hit copy. We'll go back over to where we're at. We'll hit paste. We get this little um, thing. Let's shrink it down. And the cool thing about Canva is you just drag, boom, drop. That's your profile picture, see? Pretty cool. Name, we can call us Mr. Nobody. Because this is not my banner, but, you know. You drag it, make it bigger, you can change the font. Say you don't like that, you want Horizon, or say you like Cursive. Maybe you want to do a script. Script looks kind of cool. Drag it up. Have it bigger. Cool part about Canva is you can pretty much customize everything. You want it red. You want it pink. These are the colors that I like. See, it gives you photo colors, which are very good. You want to stay in your theme. That's how you do it. I don't like this red background, so we'll go ahead and change it to maybe... Let's do keep that right there. Uh... Yeah, change this to maybe wait. There you go. Black. I think the black looks cool. Um, fonts, things like that. You can even change your background image. Say you didn't like this one, you could Google um landscape. Say you really like this background, or let's go with this one. Copy image. So we'll go ahead and paste it. Oh, you see it doesn't fit? It's okay. Right click it. Replace background. Boom. Obviously, it's a little choppy because, I mean, it's not meant to fit that picture. But just to kind of give you an idea of what you can and can't do. I don't like that one, so I'm just going to leave it alone. We'll go ahead and delete that. But just kind of giving you some tips. If you have a logo or anything, feel free to add it. You can even add a background like uh Let's say you can add shapes and lines. A lot of people like to add um, shapes behind their words. So you could have that. Add some shapes. You could even change this from a square to maybe something else. If you want this, you could just send it backwards. Just keep sending it backwards. Eventually, it'll go behind like that. Something like that. Pretty simple. Um, if you have a logo, say like one of these logos, sometimes you'll see these kind of logos behind or whatever your logo may be. You can put it behind, put it in the background. And one cool thing that I do recommend you guys kind of mess with, um, let's get it behind there. We can make it bigger. Put it right there. Is the transparency. Transparency right here on the top right, right next to this brush. Make it transparent. 
make it look like uh, something's there when it's not. So go ahead and do that. You could even copy it, paste another one if you feel like it. And the cool thing is, is you could flip it vertical. Now look. And you could go down with it, then backwards, then backwards. That looks cool. Just cool things like that you can do on Canva, which is really nice. Um, like I said, you could add banners, you could add shapes, lines, and pretty much anything that you can think of. You can pretty much do it. Also, this video is not sponsored by Canva. Although, if they do want to sponsor me, that'd be cool. Get in. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's all kinds of templates. There's all kinds of things you can do. You can add and remove backgrounds. Keep it right here. And whenever you're done, all you want to do is hit share. You want to download. You'll download your link. Copy it. And then you can go ahead and upload your... Um, banner to YouTube so I'll show you I have a banner that I made off of Canva it's a little dosaki it's a real simple banner but if I wanted to change it I could go to channel change and then obviously upload it I don't have anything on here because I didn't do it but you could do it so there you guys go that's pretty much how you um would do a banner so hopefully you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe if you want more content and peace thank you